through my head. Working like a stripper. Yeah, but you not a stripper. Yeah, dog it down with you. Yeah. Working What's up? And welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, and I know a lot of y'all probably over there thinking, what you cooking? So today I am going to make lemon butter ribeye steak with some mashed potatoes, um, broccoli, and a fried lobster tail. So let's get started. I need to season this meat. Let's go. Okay, check it out y'all. I got me a nice tender ribeye steak. I will not trim the fat because I love the fat on there or whatever. I'm just gonna use a little garlic, black pepper, accent, and just a pinch of salt. I don't wanna use too much salt. I'm gonna put it on there and let's get her done. to major, you know. I'm gonna put her in the refrigerator. All right, so I got my lobster chilling over here next to my vegetable, my lemon. Uh, I'm gonna run some water on the potatoes. And some more. And of course I'm using red potatoes. I'm gonna skin these because I don't like the way they skin look on them. I'm gonna skin these and then chop them up. So I decided to keep the um, skin on. You just have to rinse well. That's all. And I like it anyway because when I mash my potatoes up, it leaves a, like a pretty color on my mashed potatoes. So yeah. All right, y'all. So I am about to cut my lobster. Now I do not want to try to record myself cutting my lobster because I need to focus. I have to pull the meat out and chop up the meat. Now I've done it before when I just cut it up in half, just a clean, but I have to pull it out. So wish me luck. All right, y'all. So I chopped my lobster up into six nuggets. One, two, Three, four, five, six nuggets. Oh, poor little guy. See y'all, I was talking about how I messed up the shell. It was, this part is not supposed to be knocked off. It was supposed to connect like right there. Boop. But baby got a gap and I'm punched out the tooth. <laughs> but yeah, so I am going to season these up, bread them up, up in my seafood breading. This right here. Mm. Spicy. Okay, y'all, next up, I gotta be resourceful now in my kitchen. So I am using one of my drinking glasses to pour my breading in a Ziploc bag since I only have six little nuggets. and a little bit more. All right. Y'all, if y'all decide to buy some of this stuff, please be careful breathing around it. If you have big nostrils like mine, you will be breathing. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> My point is acting. You'll be breathing in a wind full of spice. So be careful breathing around this. All right? What y'all doing? I think the table's about done, y'all. All it had in there about almost 30 minutes. So of course with my mashed potatoes, I showed you on my last video on last Sunday, um, how I mash them up. I use mayonnaise as the first ingredient, milk, 
um, a little bit of the garlic butter Florida seasoning um, and just a pinch of soy. I'm just putting a little butter at the bottom of my pan, butter in the pan. And that good old cast iron, taking it all the way bike. We bike, bike it to town. So good, y'all. I love fresh butter. Now I know a lot of people like to use um, oil, uh, olive oil or vegetable cooking oil to find the steak. I choose to use butter um, because I'm not too much of a fan of salt. So it gives me that salty taste I'm looking for when it comes down to fry my steak and butter. Hey y'all, so while my food is in there doing its thing, warming up, I am going to make y'all a cocktail. So it is my favorite, um, a peach fuzzy navel. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. So first I add ice cubes. My table clean. <laughs> I'm a clean person, trust me. <laughs> add some frozen peaches. Oh, two. A little more ice. Ah. All right. All right, I'm gonna use some peach savaka. Just a shot or two. Do two. I don't like to taste my liquor, y'all. Use some peach minute maid. Yep. And a little pineapple juice. There you have it. A peach fuzzy navel. Cheers. And there she is. Mm -hmm. Too bad I'm single. <laughs> Enjoy y'all.